Hey, this is Nathan Tabor with Handling Life. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, hope you're, you know, being able to find joy in your life. Hope you're able to find, you know, some contentment in your life. Um, but at times, just like a time I'm going through right now in my life, sometimes it's hard. Sometimes it's hard to find that joy or that contentment. Um, I'm in a position right now in my life where I'm trying to figure out, you know, God, what is it you're wanting me to do? You know, God, what what do you want me to do with my life? Um, you know, I feel like that I'm where God wants me to be. I feel like I'm doing what God wants me to do. Um, I don't have a feeling to go do something else. I feel like I should be involved in real estate. I think I should be involved in the ministry of handling life. Um, but sometimes, you know, when things don't go the way I want them to go, when business doesn't grow the way I think it should, or your ministry doesn't grow the way I think it should, or opportunities, you know, doors don't open, opportunities don't come along. Um, the thought of, well, you know, God, where are you? Or God, what's going on? Or am I doing what God wants me to do? Or, you know, it can be depression, but not in the way of like, you know, go get medicated type. I don't mean that way. Uh, but more of just kind of, you know, feeling sorry for myself. And I think as Christians, if we're honest and we're open, at times when we're serving God and we don't see the immediate outcome, we don't see our businesses growing or we don't see our efforts, we don't see the fruit uh, coming forth of the things that we've been working on, that it can be challenging. It can make us question. Uh, and that's kind of where I've been. You know, God, is this, you know, what you want me to do? What what would you have me to do? And so I, I ran across a verse. You know, it, it's, it's always um, amazing how God works and then in the time that you need and things that I've, you know, I've read this verse, you know, dozens of times, if not hundreds of times in my life, uh, to run across it this past week and to see how it applies to my life, my current life, what I'm currently going through. And that's 1 Corinthians 15, 58. And at the end of the verse, it says, Thy labor is not in vain. And it hit me. You know, what I'm doing, and I already know this, and I'm sure you do as well, but what I'm doing with my life is not for others. It's not for my wife. It's not for clients. It's not for people I don't know. My work is for God. My labor is for God. My, um, you know, whether it be, you know, work in real estate, whether it be work in the ministry, whether it be work in church, whether it be work in my family, if I'm not doing it for the Lord, if I'm not doing it for the right reasons, and if I don't keep that focus, um, what happens is what's happened to me lately, and I'm, I'm kind of working out of it, is I start to feel like I'm not having an impact. I feel like I'm stuck in a rut and I can't get out. But when I take it in context, when I put God's word to my life, what I'm doing is where God wants me to be. So my labor is not in vain. My efforts are not in vain. Uh, even though I might not see God's plan, even though I might not understand God's plan, it's where He wants me to be. So I want to encourage you, if you're you know, in the center of God's will and you're doing what you think you need to be doing and you feel like that's exactly where God wants you to be and you have a good relationship with Him, you have a good daily walk with Him, but you're just not seeing things come to fruition the way you would want them to. See, I'm a, I'm a business-minded, class A person, so if I do this, if I spend this much money or this much time or this much effort, then my success is based on the return of my time, return of my efforts in the type of money that I get or the type of business that I get. I can't apply that to 
doing what God wants because his return's not always monetary. His return's not always instant. His return's not always what I think it should be. So I want to encourage you, keep in mind that when you're doing what God has called you to do, do it for him. That's what I'm focusing on. Do it for God. And then know if you're doing it in the right heart, and the right spirit, that just like with me, my labor, your labor, your efforts, your time, your energy is not in vain. And when I put it into that perspective, then it's like, oh, God's got a plan. God's got his timing. And what he's doing with me is exactly where I need to be and what I need to be going through. So if you're where God wants you to be, think of it that way. You're right where God wants you to be. You're going through exactly what God wants you to go through, and your labor is not in vain. I hope this has been encouraging to you. I hope you'll take 1 Corinthians 15, 58 and apply it to your life. And if you're, you're wondering, am I where God wants me to be? Or, hey, I'm, I'm struggling. Or, hey, I've got issues. Or, I've got questions. I'm looking for solutions to things going on in my life, then visit handlinglife.org. Look at the database. Look at the various podcasts. Sign up for the emails because there's some great content. There's some great uh, videos and podcasts and quizzes and ebooks on how you can start applying God's Word to your life. I'm Nathan Tabor with Handling Life, and I want to encourage you, stop struggling and start living by applying God's Word to your life.